So today we will see user event switch. Hmm. As today we have the user point switch. So today we will like go for that. Yeah. Uh, thing is, yesterday I did. Uh, today more I did some practice. So I have some doubts. So I, I'll ask you at the end of the session. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Agreed. And we'll Script type is user event. And these script types needs to be like these script types are also constant. Like if you give just user event or something, you will get an error. Like the script type you mentioned is wrong or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it needs to be correct only. So that means you capital E capital S capital like that. Uh, even I think small lower case also it takes, but the entire word should be same. User even script. Okay, okay. Like. <coughs> so define. So first we will see user even before load, and user even before load triggers on page like before loading the page as we discussed yesterday. Yeah. So by using uh, before load script, we can set some default values like how we. Said using page in it. Yeah. You can add button to the record also. Yes, please. Uh, is Sriya there? Uh, I think she didn't join it. She didn't join it. Okay, so yesterday I sent a code, guys. So have you got a chance to look into that one? Any inputs, updates? Like I didn't get a chance to look into it. I didn't have time. So function. We will check with Srija. She may join in some time. Yeah. Before load. And here context object again. But here context object. Uh, where is the object will be same, but like properties and methods which we use here will be different from uh, client script and portlet. Mm, mm, mm. So var record equal to we will use context dot. We should uh, like in client script we, we used to use context dot current record, right? Mm. So in user we should use context dot new record. Oh, okay. So this specifies the uh, new record like which we are accessing it. Current record. Yes. So like by using this object, if you want to set any default values, like we can go ahead and set. Mm. For example, I want to set. Uh, I will take our custom record was there, right? Rebates like once we have defined it. Mm. So I will use this rebate record to. Trigger our user event scripts. So here in memo field, I will set some default value. Uh -huh. Record dot set value inside that options field ID. Is cast record underscore memo. Cast record, okay. That is field internal value. Mm -hmm. And value we need to pass. We we'll mentioned before log script. And we will return the entry point. Okay. <laughs> This like this page function will be similar to our page in it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Page, yeah, yeah. Before load. And even we can check the logs also if you want. 
and even uh, for actually for to see logs we will use this module right n slash log yeah yeah but no need to use because even like sometimes i tried without loading this module it worked oh nice okay that's good okay so how can you use that log over here log dot debug yeah. What are the parameters so you pass? These parameters are title and details. Uh -huh. Title. Mm -hmm. Title is uh, some memo. I will say memo or something. Test. Test. I will keep and de inside details. I will do some more details. Uh, if I want to get yeah. the record here, we want to get the record value. Record values we can get. Like if it is already existing record, just context dot new record same and record dot get value. No, listen. Uh, I want to display that variable uh, a rec here. Yes, we can. We can display where some value. Oh, okay, value equal like it as a rec dot value. Record dot like get value, get value. Yeah. Okay, I'll give the field and name. That, okay, okay. Uh, field name and how do you use it? How do you pass the variable here in the log? I just want to yeah, know the syntax. Where, yeah, yeah. This instead of here we are passing just text, right? Just remove the text and uh, use this value. That. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can I pass? Uh, uh, can I pass? Make it a course, single course, in the details. Here. Yeah. Make it a single course. Yes. And uh, yeah, can I yeah, add a concatenate with the value here? Yes, of course you can. Okay. I just want to. So that's what I want to see. So. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Just leave it yeah. now. Now I know you like it. Will okay. yeah. What we will do is we will display this record object here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, make it okay. Mm -hmm. Now I will go and click the script. Make a copy. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's solid is there? Okay. Yeah, some file is already there. Okay, okay. So it will be overwritten, am I right? Yeah, it will get overwritten. Rebuilt. Setting all this. Save. Now I will open your report. If you see that memo field value is set with before load script. Okay. And we will check the logs. Yeah, I'm interested over logs, yes. Sorry, like here, see, uh, we kept log level as error. Okay. okay, we need to make it as debug. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, I will refresh this rebate record page. Okay. Okay. And I'll check the logs. Okay, record this object. Record object different dynamic record. This okay. is the return. Okay. okay, this is before load means page and like. Okay, next, what else you have? Uh, after load, uh, before, before submit, we have okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here only we will write. Yeah, and using before submit, what we can do is we can validate the record before saving the data into database. Yeah, yeah, please. If you want to perform some calculations or manipulations, we can do that.
So what we will do here is uh, like one of the scenario I will tell you. We have some custom record here. Okay. Okay. Like we have one custom record, and in that custom record, we want user to edit only some fields. Hmm. For example, uh, if there is a vendor field. He can change the vendor. He can change the item or something. But I don't want user to change name of field. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So what I will do is, I will check the old value and new value. Compare the old value and new new value. For example, this is the old value before load script. Okay. Okay. And user will come here and change some test or something. So before saving this record to the database, I will compare both the values. Okay. If the both values are same, I will allow the record to get saved successfully. Else, I will throw an error. Oh, please, okay. Okay, we will see that because this is a use case like where we will. This is one of the use case where we will use before submit. Even yesterday, we were telling that we will create a custom record to store that credentials. Yeah. So in that custom record, also if you want to set some validations like this, you can go ahead and set. And see here how to get the old values and how to get the new values. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Where old record equal to we have an API context dot old record. Ah, really? Okay, I don't know this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And where new record means the you what the user what is entering current in the current form that will be retrieved by new record. Uh, new okay. record equal. Oh, nice. Okay, they can compare it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Where old memo equal to old record dot get value. Get value and field ID is first record underscore memo. That's and I need to get the new value also. Just I will copy paste it. Yeah, yeah, please. And this is new memo, new record, new record dot get field value. Of here I will do comparison. If old record, sorry, old memo field. Is not equal to new memo. That means the user has changed the uh, exactly. memo field. Mm -hmm. So here we need to create a error object. Yeah. Error object and throw the error. So for that, first we need to load the error module. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So n slash error error. So what do we do? We will create an error object here, where error object equal to error not okay. error dot create, and instead we need to pass options. Hmm. Options like uh, we need to pass name name of the error. Uh, what we can notation. And we can pass message okay. like if you want to have any elaborated message, descriptive message. User is not allowed to edit the record. Okay. Edit memo field. Okay, edit memo field in record. That's it. So we need to throw this error object. So what we will do is throw, yeah. throw oh. error object. Yeah. Dot message. Okay. Okay. Throw error. Okay. Okay. This is the way it works. Okay. okay. Now we need to return the return text here. Yeah. Before, uh, Before submit. submit. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, and, uh, and the first submit function. Okay, this is the return value. Yes. Okay. Now, I'll, now I will upload this code. Yeah. Okay. 
I will take one existing record. Yeah, please. Edit, okay. Now, memo, now in memo field, there is nothing. Okay. I will enter some value. Test. Mm -hmm. And I will try to get the record. User is not allowed to edit memo field record. Why? Well, because it's a blank. That is the reason. So, you are adding something. Okay. Yeah. Before it is blank and now we are adding some value. So, in before something, we can perform the validations like this. Uh, like if it is a client script, even we can do it in client script also this one. But we, there what we, will do, what we used to do is we used to throw an alert and say uh, yeah, yeah. we get some profits and we used to throw an alert. Yeah, yeah. But in client script we cannot get old values. Mm -hmm. This old record object, these objects are available only in user, uh, user event script actually. Yes. These comparisons we can do only before uh, user event scripts. Yeah. And uh, I like I, I want to add one more point. I used uh, like yesterday. I think we have discussed right uh, differences between one dot and two dot. Yeah. Uh, like in order to deploy client script on Sootlet or user event, before we used to use form dot set script set script, and we used to give script ID right mm -hmm. clients. Mm. But here, what we need to do is we no need to deploy the script. Like we no need to create the script record. Just we need to update, up, upload the file in the file cabinet, mm -hmm. and we need to use here. Uh, for example, I will tell you one scenario. Mm -hmm. Here we have three uh, standard buttons. These are standard buttons, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you want to add one more button, how we will add here? We will use before load script. Yes, yes. And on the click of button, we need to perform some action, right? Yes, please. Yeah, right. So for that, what we will do, we need to create a custom client script here. Mm -hmm. Custom client script we need to uh, create. In 1.2, we need to uh, create, we, we used to create script record, but here no need, just we need to upload the that file in the file cabinet, custom okay. script. Okay. Then, okay. Hmm. After uploading, we will get file ID, right? We will have file ID for every file. Hmm. That we need to uh, give in the here. Form okay. dot set script file ID. Okay. Like if you want, you can see or else you can try. Okay. Okay. So the, uh, that's where like how we deploy client script in 2.0. Oh, that is the difference, major difference. Nice. Okay. Now we will see like if you are clear with before and before submit. Like yeah. if you have any questions, you can ask. Else we can go for after submit. No, we'll go for after submit. I'm clear with this. Yes. Yeah, sure. Write another function after submit. Okay. Yeah, function after submit. Here, what we will do is, hmm. and one more thing, what I what I want to add is, hmm. before writing a script, you need to analyze whether I should go for before submit or I should go for after submit. Okay. Because both the functions are very similar, mm -hmm. but you need to take a decision like when I should go for before submit and when I should go for after submit. Okay. Okay. For example, you want to create a fulfillment for a sales order. Mm -hmm. Like once a sale order is created, you need to create a fulfillment for that. Mm -hmm. So for that, what we will do? Definitely, we should go for after submit only. Yeah. Okay. For example, there are there is a sales order, okay, mm. and for if the sale order is having two or uh, two or three items, mm -hmm. for that items create a purchase order. Mm -hmm. So in that we can do that in both you, uh, before submit and after submit because sale order is independent record and purchase order is independent record. Okay. So here we need to make a decision because that functionality can be achieved in both. After submit and before submit. Okay. But we should go for before after submit only because if sale order has got some error and it did create it, it was not created. But before submit, if we try to create a purchase order, then purchase order is creating purchase order is of a waste. It is of no use. Mm. Okay. So in these cases, we need to make a decision uh, like whether we should go for after submit or whether we should go for before submit. Okay. Okay. And even for example, if a sale order is created or a customer is created, we want to send some confirmation emails. 
then also we should go for after submit only okay because after creating the record only we should send an email before submit we should not do that because if again if some error comes and the record is not created mm -hmm. then that is not the correct way okay context context Context. So here, what we will do is uh, first we need to get the current record values. So here, what I'm going to do is after creating a sales order, I will create a transfer order transfer order for those items. This is one of our recent requirement which we are doing. So we will do that. Okay. Mm. Where S O uh, S O object equal to mm -hmm. context. Context dot new record. New record. New record. So after submit, whatever values are submitted to the database, that values we can get to here when we use new record. Okay. Sorry, come, come repeat. Just repeat the last statement. Context dot new record means the latest values which were submitted that we can get over here. Oh yeah. Hmm. Okay. And next, what we want to we want uh, we need a record module here because we are going to create a transfer order. Okay. Okay. So what we need to do? We need to go ahead and import the record module. Mm. N slash record. Record. Mm. Where to object equal to record dot create of options we need to pass record dot create and type we need to pass type we should pass like record uh, dot okay yeah any doubts uh, why you are creating the record here can you tell me the requirement what is the, what is the requirement once a sale order is created, I'm going to create transfer order for those items. The scenario is uh -huh. they will be maintaining okay, they will be maintaining all the items in one warehouse, which is different from the sales order sales order location. Okay, I got it now. I understand. Please go ahead. Record dot type dot here Save. we need to give the transfer order. Yeah. We are creating transfer order. Transfer underscore order. Yeah. So, and what are the parameters we have to pass? Uh, Just the, we have uh, two other optional parameters, like we can set some default values and dynamic value as two. But here, uh, just I'm creating, defining the type. Okay. Hmm. Record dot type dot transfer order. Hmm. And now, what we need to do is we need to get count of sales order. Because those items we need to uh, keep it in transfer order. Mm. Where SO count equal to SO object dot get line count. Mm -hmm. mm. And here options are sublist ID we need to pass. Mm. Sublist ID as item. So we will get the item count here. Mm -hmm. And for creating a transfer order, we need to set transfer location that is from location and to location. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, as of now, I'm hard coding the from location and to location. Usually, we will take it from the sales order. Yeah, yeah. Like sales order, they will mention in the custom fields. From that, we will take. But here, as we don't have any custom fields in the sales order, I'm hard coding the values. Hmm. TO object dot set. Value. I will see the internal IDs of the transfer order first. Inventory. Enter transfer order. Ah, uh, yeah. So transfer order means what it will do basically. What is the functionality of a transfer order? Uh, for example, I have two locations, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and 
location 1 i have a inventory and i want to move that inventory from location 1 to location 2 okay so for that we will use transfer order wow. and this can be done in two ways one is transfer order and the other is inventory transfer oh, okay yeah i now understand now okay inventory okay. transfer so, i know but transfer. okay yeah so inventory transfer is a one step process like only one step just yes. we can create inventory but but this transfer order is approval like it will have some steps like approval process will be there and after that pending it the status will be changed to pending fulfillment mm -hmm. and from location to from uh, like once once the it is approved the status will be changed to pending fulfillment mm. okay then we need to create item fulfillment for that that means the items are fulfilled full, uh, shipped from location and after shipping we need to receive those items so oh, for yeah. that again we will have item receipt Oh, okay. 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 We need to do item like okay. Got it. So I will uh, copy this internal ID from location. Mm -hmm. From location and value I will give. Sorry. Value. I will see the location ID. Else I will take one mm -hmm. existing transfer order mm -hmm. and I will check for the location. I'm guessing it's a very good. Okay, location ID is four. Mm -hmm. Four. Four. Mm -hmm. and I, I need to set the two location also. Mm -hmm. So, control F location. That is transfer location. Three. Okay. Transfer location is three, mm. and we now we need to set the line uh, line items, the items which we need to transfer. Mm. So for that, I will get for you. Well, and here sublist index starts from zero, so I'm giving zero. But in one dot we used to use like one. Oh yeah. J less than S O com. Let's work on JSS. And what we need, we need item and quantity. So, where item. Item equal to S O object S O object dot get sublist value we need to use get sublist value yeah. and inside that we need to pass options that is sublist ID okay sublist ID is item and field ID that is again item yeah and we need to mention the line mm. so line is j and quantity we need mm. get sublist i have list value okay List of these item and field of this quantity. Field of this quantity mm. and line is J. So here we will get the item and quantity. Mm. And now what we need to do? We need to set the same lines. Whatever lines are there, we need to set it for transfer order. Mm. Yeah. So evo object dot 
we need to use select new line item because we are this is a new record. Oh, select yeah. new line. And here we need to pass options. That is sublist ID. Mm -hmm. Sublist ID is item. So here new item will be selected. And we need to set the values for those items. Tvo object dot set current sublist value. Mm -hmm. So here sublist ID we need can to you, pass. Can you can you can you okay please complete this one? I'll ask you. Sublist ID you need to Sub is item mm -hmm. and ID is again item okay. and here we need to set the value for this field ID. So for this I need to set this item as field value. Um, set uh, one second set current sublist uh, value. Sublist ID is item, field ID is also item, value also item. Okay. Uh, yeah, but where is the quantity you are setting? Quantity I need to set. I will just yeah, copy yeah, yeah, yeah. this one. Quantity, this quantity we need to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, my question and is after, yeah, can you just go a bit up? T OBJ, what is that variable? Just go up, bit up, yeah, uh, right. Oh, trans, you are creating the transfer order now, okay. Uh, let's start at the transfer order. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, next one is line count. So, the line count is what is yes, the current record line count. Okay, am I right? Current sales order is. Yes. So after that, you are setting the location. Oh, yeah. Now I understand. Okay. Please go ahead. Yeah. So what? After setting the values, we need to commit the line. Yes. So. Please. Evo object dot commit line. Yes. Commit line. And the options again. Some list ID. I, I you are right. Now what we need, we need to return our return type. So here I will return after submit. After submit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. After submit. After submit. I... Now I'm uploading. Some error was there. Mm, I think parents is. So this can be two levels. Right, okay. Uh, a bit further down, is there any missing there? And this last uh, seems to be okay. Uh, check in the far oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the braces is missing, na? Which? I think one more curly braces is missing. Just go down. No, 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 sorry, sorry, it's okay, matching, okay. Okay. That is okay. okay. Let's see. Uh, this is item, click line point, set value, set value. Mm -hmm. Can I check the for loop, where is ending the for loop, where you are ending the for loop? Here. Uh, after the go down. Just there is one more braces yes. that is for the function after this one. Okay, seems to be okay here. Yeah, I know it. Uh, I think just go down last one, last bit, last one. Yeah. Just go last one more. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. 
and here one thing we forgot we need to save the record just we are adding the lines but we need to submit the record right e so commit line means saving as uh, submit na no commit line is adding the line oh, okay and finally when we will click on save button right so here we need to submit submit that two digit e object hmm e object dot save record. save and any parameters in it is the function list okay no like if you if we have two optional parameters that is uh, if your mandatory fields or uh, sourcing that is optional only uh, for example if in record there are any mandatory fields and if you want to escape that like for example if there are mandatory fields we will get error right you are missing some mandatory fields mm. but you we use that parameter as true then it will ignore mandatory fields even if there are mandatory fields it will allow us to save the record okay now upload this one yeah it got saved now we need to deploy the script on sales order because this script is in rebate record uh -huh. okay yeah yeah sales order so if you don't give the id what will take the id uh, automatically will leave the car, okay deploy to okay cast deploy to be like this Uh, But we should avoid this because when we install this bundle to the other account, definitely. If there are same scripts with same script ID, it will throw an like it will be a problem. Okay, go to the sales order. Mm -hmm. Unexpected error. Type internal. As we have written this function for rebate, just we will uh, what we will do is we will restrict it for rebate record only. Where record type equal to context dot record type. What is the difference between these two context dot new record and record type? Record type means it will return what type of record it is. New record means it will return whole object. Uh, new record means it will return the whole object. Record type means what kind of record? So that means yeah, that, whether it is a sales order uh, or purchase order like that. Okay, 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 got it now. Okay, one second. Let me check that again. Whether it is a new record, record type or user event dot type. Oh yeah. Actually, this is not what we what is required. What we require. 
Actually, this will require context dot type. Okay, context dot is a to context dot new record. Context dot new record is also there, right? Yeah, context dot new record is also there. But uh, what I'm looking is how to get the record type. Okay, we will try it. What is it? We will try it. We record type equal to log dot debug. How to get record type? Record dot record type. Current record dot record type. Okay, current record dot type. It returns the record type. Okay. Okay. So we need to use record dot record type. Okay. Now yeah, that here we will keep one condition. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Record dot type we should use not record type. If you see here, yeah, yeah. It is record dot type. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Yeah, I'll read only. Okay. Okay. What first will display it here in uh, logs? Title is record type and value is record type. So here we will keep a condition. If record type is commission, then only trigger the script. Yeah, okay. If record type equal to I will check the commission record type, like internal ID. Mm -hmm. Custom record underscore commission. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Now I will keep a condition here such that it repeats only for the. Okay. Okay. And I will keep the same for before submit also because we don't want before submit to trigger on sales order mm. but before that we need to get the record type, record type here Now we will see. See, now we didn't get any error because it triggered only for rebate record. Okay. Because uh, before when we load, we got some error, right? Mm. Yeah, see, we got that we are getting them. Okay. So here we have two items now. Like when I click on edit and submit, it should create transfer order with these two items. Yes. Yes. Okay, I will remove all the logs. Okay, go there. So the moment I click on that, submit. Okay. Save. Save. Mm. Yeah. Record has not. Okay, this is standard error message. Yes. Mm. Missing required argument message. Get sublist value. Sublist. We are missing some parameter. 
in get sublist value we will see that oh my god okay get sublist value here sublist id mm -hmm. okay here sublist id if you see here we missed t oh t yeah okay <laughs> yeah okay yeah okay sublist id hmm here also Mm. Last also. Here also. Here also. Yes. No. Hey, can I can I, one second, one second, one second. Yeah. So take one variable and variable okay. s equal to sublist ID. Call that variable here. Can I do that one? Uh, where? See, after the quantity, if you see the quantity on top of yes. that. No, 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 no. Uh, variable here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Take a variable s equal to sublist ID in the string. What s equal to sublist ID want to take? Yeah, sublist ID. Just for that, what? Yeah, context dot sublist ID we should use. Oh, you can use s equal context dot sublist ID. Yes. Ah, okay, that's good. Okay. This we have used in client script also. Yeah, yeah. Context dot sublist ID. Context dot field ID. No, upload this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I just refresh. Oh, like it opened new record. Okay, no problem. I will create a new record. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> um. can see. Cannot treat property type from null. Cannot read property type from one second. Actually, here we are getting that table. That means we are not getting this report. So these are the properties with which we can refer the record object. So here we use record dot This is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will try using this record object dot type. Mm -hmm. Try that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But when you are calling a record here, do you need to take the collect the uh, as the input parameter to this function context gamma record? Here, like outside, we are declaring that right? this in oh, define yeah, function yeah, yeah. we are. Sorry, sorry, yeah, it was. So we can use this in any of the function. Hmm. Title record time before select this. Details record type. I will take existing record. Object is not defined. This object is not defined. Line number one and seven. Okay. Here I'm using the wrong object. Actually, I should use this one. Uh, okay. So this is called interpreter. That's what I told you initially. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is the like which I have learned. Like I never get like I never thought that whether the next to this interpreter or company. Interpreter. Mm -hmm. but that is okay. Now click on that one. Save. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. New line in the object. <laughs> Not find a Maybe we have the wrong function. You know? Select new line. Oh. Record. Record dot select new line. Record dot select new line. It is correct. Only. Select new line. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. new line. So this is. This is correct. Yeah, I think good. They go there. Yeah, one second. In current, like here, we should mention the dynamic type when we are creating the record. Here. Mm -hmm. This is optional, but here we are getting the error, right? I cannot find function in object that default dynamic record. So I think that is dynamic as well. Then parameter is two. Mm -hmm. Try that one. Mm -hmm. Save, yeah. Yeah, now we got created. Okay. Yeah. Transactions inventory enter transfer on this list.
part. This is the transfer order which got created. Yeah, but it's wrong. But today is 22nd. Twenty second, not today, is twenty second, but it's created in thirty first. Twenty first. Uh, one second, we will see one thing. Hmm. What is here? We will keep ID. Hmm. Like in your time also it is twenty second? No. Um I think yeah. that, is, that is time zone that is based on time zone, right? Time zone, right? Uh, different types of like the time zones which is set up in next week. Okay, let's see. Right. Transfer order. Mm -hmm. I do place transfer. What will happen if we want if we won't pass the detail here? It will throw error. No, it will display null. Like nothing will be displayed. Just title will come. No, my is a, what I want mean is I don't want pass details at. Yeah, now what is the syntax? So it will throw error. No, no, it will not throw error. Just uh, the title. This will. Okay, okay, that's fine. So it's not mandatory. So second parameter is not mandatory. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Edit. Huh. Now okay. I will see the logs. Okay. Remove the Transfer log. audit to double eight one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Please. To one double eight. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is the transfer okay, which got created. Okay, okay. So this date okay. is based on the HP uh, time zone which is set up. Okay, okay, okay. One second. Okay, come here. Uh, oh, okay. Can you show me the functionality? How you are doing a transfer order? So, so first, uh, just go the previous screen. I just sales want, order. Yeah. So what you have created the sales order? Then after that, what you have done is. On submit of this sales order, like after sale order is created, I want to create transfer order. Yeah. So where is the uh, yeah? What you have done from that? So for that we have written a code to create a transfer order. Okay. Oh. Okay. After creating, okay. After creating transfer order, we will get that. But actually, we are doing what uh, we are doing wrong thing, because every time we submit a new sale order, new sale order, like every time we yeah, every time submit right. the sale order, transfer order is getting created. So, so for that we need to we can type is like mode should be create mode only in create mode our transfer order should get created. Yes. Right. So here we should mention the type. If context dot type is create, then hmm. transfer order should get created. Else no. That is one thing. And after that, just now you only asked whether this transfer order got created from this sales order or not. Hmm. We only got. We only got doubt, so that we have gone for live vision. So for that, what we need to do is, we need to create some custom field here, and we need to link that ID to this transfer order. What? Uh, what linking? Sales order. Sales order link we should provide here. Uh, uh, for example, uh, for ex for example, just I will fulfill the sales order. Mm -hmm. And I will sub. Yeah, see here, created from order two one eight five. So like that, same link we should provide in yeah, trans exactly. transfer order, mm. so that user can go ahead and see that sale order whether exactly. this transfer yes. order is. Very from nice from idea. Yes. So like this will be our some of the requirements, and even the same functionality is for uh, if you have seen the dropship or special orders in the sales order, that is the Netsuit standard functionality, dropship or special order. Like whenever an order is created, automatically purchase order will get created, right? Yes. So the same functionality will be applicable for them. They are using the same thing. And after submit of sale order, they are creating a purchase order. 
okay now uh, what i want to uh, know is see uh, sridisha right yeah sridisha uh, how many yeah. sessions we require further uh, we... uh just once one session for one script it will be done after that and, yeah suitlet we have one session restlet schedule script map ready script four or five sessions we require uh okay so okay so what i want to do is uh, uh, tomorrow i want take the break tomorrow okay okay 